First, I will start by showing my audience. Hi, I'm Shane, and today I'll give, be giving my ceremonial speech over Allen Iverson. I don't want to be like Jordan. I don't want to be like Bird or Isaiah. I don't want to be like any of those guys. I want to look in the mirror and say I did it my way. Allen Iverson had a great story. The reason I chose Allen Iverson was because he was an idol to me because I wasn't very big growing up, and he was rarely the biggest, uh, he was rarely uh, not the smallest person on the court. So um, I will start by previewing my three main points. First, Allen Iverson was one of a kind. Second, Allen Iverson was successful in the NBA. And third, Allen Iverson had many obstacles to be successful. Allen Iverson was a truly unique character. He wanted to do everything his own way, not in a stubborn way, but in a unique way. For my first main point, Allen Iverson was one of a kind. Allen Iverson was born on June 7, 1975 to a 15-year-old single mother. He attended Bethel High School and was a standout athlete in both football and basketball. He was, a, all, he was an All-State as a sophomore for football and basketball when he was only 120 pounds. Um, but he was arrested twice in high school, which makes him one of a kind because he had many obstacles to go through. So the first reason we are celebrating the superstar athlete is because Allen Iverson was one of a kind. With being arrested twice and against all odds, Iverson still had a successful NBA career. My second main point, Allen Iverson was successful in the NBA. When Allen Iverson, in 1995, Allen Iverson won an Olympic gold medal defeating, the, defeating Japan. In 1997, his rookie year, he won Rookie of the Year, and he made the all-rookie team. In the two, he was a 2001's NBA, NBA MVP. He was an 11-time All-Star, 2-time All-Star Game MVP, 3-time NBA First Team, and 3-time NBA Second Team, which is fantastic numbers by anyone. Allen had many accomplishments, whether it was in high school, college, or the pros. To review my second main point, Allen Iverson was successful in the NBA. To be successful, it takes a lot, especially if you went through what Allen went through. My third main point, Allen Iverson had many obstacles to be successful. Allen Iverson growing up in Bethel, he was tempted with drugs and gangs as a kid. He was born to a teen mom, as I said before, and he raised, she raised her all by herself and his siblings in a one-bedroom house. He took much criticism about his life and his game, but he overcame all of these obstacles to become successful in the NBA with all those accomplishments I just read off. Everything he does, he wanted to do it his way. To review my three main points. First main point, Allen Iverson was one of a kind. He uh, was always the smallest person, and he was a standout athlete from birth. My second main point. Allen Iverson was successful in the NBA. He had many accomplishments in every single thing he did, but his greatest accomplishment, in my opinion, is his 2001 NBA MVP and his numerous scoring titles, which, if you don't know, a scoring title is you average the most points per game uh, in the league. So he was averaging close to 30 points a game twice in his career, which he got him sco scoring titles. And my third main point, Allen Iverson had many obstacles to be successful. He went through the same temptations that everybody else did, such as drugs and gangs and alcohol and different stuff like that. And he was arrested twice, one for a bowling alley uh, brawl, which he, it was controversial whether he was in uh, a part of it or not, but he still got arrested for it. And he was arrested another time for drug use, but he came over all those obstacles to be successful. Allen Iverson went through many struggles while growing up. He fell to many temptations and had a couple of run-ins with the law. When it is all said and done, you can look back in the history books and one man will stick out from the rest. Allen Iverson. Thank you.